What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Wine on the Stars. I'm Jordan, and oh my god, it finally arrived. Like, oh my god, it finally arrived. Uh, I, I don't think I've waited this long, and I don't think I've been this excited for these packages to show up. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. I've been desperate for them to show, and so what's cool is I have this and that. <laughs> They've both arrived. This is the Falcon. There's the Enterprise. I've got content. Let's unpackage. So, this is the Falcon. I'm expecting a gift. I think it's going to be my first gift. I still haven't gotten the binder yet, and I'm going to reach out to Fan Helm to find out what that's all about, but let's go ahead and see what we got here. And paper. <laughs> yeah, we do. Got a hat. Super cool. Now, I've got a stupid big dome. And uh, likely this hat's not going to fit as a snapback. But let's go ahead and let's see if I can get it out of its package here. It's actually sealed up kind of nice. I'll be right back. Okay. There it is. That's kind of cool. This is Millennium Falcon. It's got the Falcon right there. Star Wars Millennium Falcon on the side. Oh, it's not a snapback. It's a... Strap back. That might actually work. Sweet. And the Disney branded hat. Oh my. Wow. They spared no expense, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Very nice. Cool. Our first gift. I love it. And we have our five stages. Super, super cool. All right. Let's see what we got here. Stage 16. We got ourselves a whole piece. A frame piece. Oh, it looks like the inner tube for the uh, the the walkway towards the uh, the cockpit. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. We have stage fifteen, which is another whole panel section. Ooh, and a bunch of stuff for the inside. Sweet. Nice. We're going to continue to be doing some work here on the inside of the model. I'm really excited about that one. Uh, I'm just so glad we have stuff to do. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm so glad it's here. It's exciting. Uh, stage number 14. Looks like we have some more of the internals. Looks like the... Um, ooh, if that... The other stage that we have there, this is probably the doorway that goes towards the um, the cockpit itself. Super cool, and we got, you can see back there that we have some of the pieces that we got familiar with last month. Super cool, and more of the frame sections that are inside of the packaging. I've learned that those uh, frame sections from earlier, the reason why Stage 4 broke is because it's part of the older set, and they were deemed to be, like, inferior, and so they changed the formulation of the metal, which is kind of cool, so... We have something here. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Another frame piece. This is stage 13. Ooh, getting towards where we're going to be starting this week. So, ooh, we got some stuff to do here. Ugh, I really love the Falcon for the fact that we have a lot of stuff to do per stage. We have ourselves a big piece of something there. Very interesting. More frame pieces. This is stage 12, and this is going to be the piece that we're going to be working on. And who knows? Like, stage 12 could be any number of things. We could be working in other stages as well. So, oh, my friends, we have our magazines. Let's take a look, see what we got here. So, the stage 16 magazine. 15. How to land a starship, as they say. The Falcon's circuitry bay. Oh, cool. There's 14. 13. Very cool. And number 12. Sweet. Well, we have our package. We have both of our packages. We're back on schedule, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and start with building stage 12. We'll be back. 
Okay, so I have looked at the set of instructions quite a bit. Um, I've read through them quite a bit. And this is the first time since the infamous I'm going to bust a frame in my hand episode where I'm going to be doing some frame work. Now, I'm actually pretty confident about using these frame pieces. Um, so as I alluded to in the unboxing video, the frame pieces that originally came out were cast not very well and they wound up being pretty brittle. Um, what I've noticed since the beginning is the frame pieces that we're getting in the beginning were just in the package, they weren't sealed up. These ones, however, are in their own individually like sealed in package. And from what I've been told that uh, I shouldn't have to worry about the quality of these pieces going forward. I, however, am going to be careful just because, you know, how oh, I'm going to be doing some framework. So let's go ahead and open this. And we'll, for this stage, we are actually opening this package and we're going to be opening all of the other packages that we haven't opened over the last uh, month or so. So we're going to be pulling just the frame pieces out and then we're going to be leaving all of the rest of everything inside the package except for the frame pieces because I want to be able to keep track of where everything's at. So let's go ahead and we're on, just want to make sure I was opening the correct one here on number 12 and I'll grab my frame piece out here and then I'm going to need sets of screws. Um, I'm going to be pulling all of the screws out of here and all the connection pieces. Um, I believe we're going to be using a, a majority of them and I also just want to have them inside of my uh, screw container for now. Uh, as it's going to be helpful for me to have all of that in one place because they're calling for a specific amount of screws and I was like, oh, well, I don't have everything all separated out. So <laughs> there's that. Uh, so I got all the screws and then I'm going to go ahead and set this off to the side. So here are our frame pieces and then also has some of our connecting ribs. And I hate that word, but that's what they're called, and that's what we're going to be calling them. Um, and our connection pieces. So let's go ahead and get our packages open here one at a time. So we're going to be building the bottom, I guess it would be from looking at it from as if we're looking at it straight on this way. We're going to be building bottom frame and the like we're going to be building the, the first like front quarter of the ship for the frame section on the bottom. So, which is kind of nice. I was a little worried that we're gonna be doing work with the uh, broken frame piece and we're not gonna have to. So, this is bottom frame 15. And as you can see here, each one of them is cast with uh, the BF15 or whatever frame piece it is called. This one here is bottom frame 12. And after I get all the pieces pulled out, I'm gonna assemble it on the pad here and I'll show you which way it's gonna it's supposed to look when we're done here this is gonna be kind of a complicated build here we're just gonna be building a frame piece here are one of our radial connecting ribs so it has a built-in four-piece connector and it's very specific about how we need to connect these so I'm gonna be paying attention to all that and then this piece here kind of slots in and slides between like we would take it like this basically I believe yeah, something like that. And then it kind of screws into place. So we have our connection piece there. And then we have our different sets of screws and I will get my screw holder ready for when we're actually starting to build. Now, let's start with the one that is not inside of any package. We just have this very large piece. And I think this is from, we got 10, 11, this must be nine. So this is gonna be from uh, stage nine. So basically we're incorporating parts from 9 through 11 on this one. Oh, 9, 11. Oh, too soon? <laughs> All right, so we have that. And this is bottom frame 10. And this is actually kind of a hefty piece. And these do feel nicer. They feel, they don't have that weird, there was like just a weird feeling to them. So yeah, the, the old frame pieces that I was messing with. So I'm kind of glad that they replaced them. All right, so let's go ahead and open eh, number 11. Pull all of the relevant pieces out here. Leave everything else. 
There's our frame section. Cool. And we have more of our screws. Goodness me. The sound of crunching plastic is, I'm sure, lovely on your guys' end. And the silver screws, internal screws there. Nice. All right, I'm going to set stage 11 off to the side. And finally, let's grab stage 10 here. Careful to not cut through both packages at the same time. Oh, there's a lot of frame stuff in here. So, that's a big boy. Got some frame stuff there. And it says at the end of the stage we can test fit some of our uh, hull panel pieces, but I'm not going to worry about that for right now. This is going to be a heavy episode. Okay, so now let's get our individual pieces open here. finally yeah, it's kind of crazy we're going to be assembling all of this today this is a pretty hefty build here the two frame sections here and a connecting rib there we are very nice okay so i'm going to go ahead and with the diagram that i have up on my screen i'm going to go move my scissors off to the side here we are going to take, this one is 13, as I thought, and so this is going to go 13 there, 10, which is, I believe, this one here, is going to go across the top like that, or, this goes like that, okay, just like that, I see, so those will be connected there, then we have 14, which is just, I believe, this piece, yep. So we have 14, and then this weird looking one, BF11, that one's going to go right here, I believe, yep, just like that, and then we have 15, and 12, and 12 is going to fit in just like that, and 15, how is that going, just like this. And then there is a differentiation between there are some that just have four and there are some that have four and two and the ones that just have four are going to be going here in the middle I believe is that correct no the four are just on the outside and then we have a connector right here and then we have our four and two just like that and like that with a connector in the middle so that's what we're going to be putting together i'm going to go ahead and get all my pieces organized i'm going to get my screws counted and ready to go and we will be right back all right so let's go ahead and start by i went ahead and separated out the piece a little bit so i can see everything a little better as well let's go ahead and start by getting our first piece put up here get a screw See if I can get this to work. These screws are incredibly tiny and they have a tiny, 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 tiny little like screw head. And I have the tiniest screwdriver that I have that aren't like sunglass screwdrivers. And I'm curious if I need to bust this out because this has been incredibly, I was doing some test fitting just a minute ago to make sure I got it. And this has been a little challenging. So I just wanna make sure I get my pieces lined up correctly because I fear that this is going to be a bit of a challenge. There we go. So this to not screw down fully and I see why so that we can move the other piece into move the uh, rib into place here. Wow, these screws. Ugh. Ugh. I can't get them to, like, get into, like, I can't, 
I don't know if you can even see that. But it is just the tiniest little screw head. And I think that it's kind of unnecessary, <laughs> if I'm being real. But come on. The screwdriver that they provide for this model, not a chance in hell. Okay, there we go. Now we can go ahead and tighten down. There we go. Oh, I built a frame piece without breaking anything. How lovely for me. <laughs> so now we're going to go ahead and take part frame or frame part 13 here. And we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to go ahead and slide our pieces up again. And we're going to set this down. And now that the one side is on, this should be much easier to install going forward. So I'm going to try to... Well, that was a valiant effort, my sir. Valiant, but failed. Huh. I was going to say I was going to try to like pre-fit the screws into the screw hole, but that's not happening. Perhaps if I had tiny little hands, oh my god. These screws are the absolute worst. You know, it's funny, is it's the frame section that brings the complaints out in me about these models, about this model specifically. These screws are just impossible. Just impossible. They're just so tiny, and yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna stop itching. I think we can make this work. If not, I'm gonna have to go find a pair of my eyeglass screwdrivers, and I don't know where those are at all. For as organized as I am, I have no clue. And I'm so excited to be building this model right now, because I've been waiting for so long that I don't necessarily feel like trying to dig around so I can build it. Why is that happening? Back that screw off as they are self-tapping. There we go. Settled into place now. There we go, it's settled into place now, right? Is what I say. Yeah, I just worry about the like pieces not putting in correctly. Like they say it's a new and improved formula on these frame pieces going forward, but I don't believe it. Not yet, at least. Okay. Well, we've gotten one piece put on. So now, we're all set. I'm just, like, a little nervous. I'm going to try to... I wonder if the head on this screwdriver is a little bit better. I don't know. It doesn't feel like it now. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and cut real fast and see if I can quickly go find my eyeglass screwdriver. I'll be right back. So I gotta say, I'm a little surprised that I found them as fast as I did. I was maybe gone for 30 seconds. So, tiny little screwdriver. Let's see how this works. Oh my goodness. Oh my friends, we have our screwdriver. Kind of ridiculous that we have to use this kind of screwdriver for this, but hey, we're not complaining about the model fan home gods. I am not doing anything of that sort. What are you talking about? <laughs> All right, so we're now gonna grab frame piece number 11 and we're gonna go ahead and align it. And slide that up. And we're gonna put it into place right here. Just like so. It looks like we're going to connect up 
with a dual piece and I did see that and I should have grabbed it. So I'm gonna grab that here in a second. So what we're gonna do, grab our screw, see how this goes. This probably is not magnetic. Oh. Oh. Oh, <laughs> well. Yes. Yes. <laughs> anything. Anything, my friends, to try to help with the jank. I'm going to go get our little piece. I'll be right back. And what's funny, it's cute. We have this. It's just one little piece inside of a single package. <laughs> kind of cool. Let me grab my scissors. We're going to go ahead and pop that off. Drop that bad boy in there. And then we are going to take our piece, set it right there. Very nice. And let's see if we can do this quickly. Which I think we can. The screwdriver is not magnetic, but I'm able to get the screwdriver in there well enough. I'm able to guide the screw. Very nice. Yeah, goodness me. Well, we have a new uh, tool in our Millennium Falcon toolkit. It's pretty cool. I'm surprised, like, it was. I, I said I was pretty organized, and I am. So, it was right in my toolbox, right where I expected it to be. So, amazing when that actually happens, right? So, <laughs> now we're going to grab uh, frame 14. We're going to go ahead and push this up here. Uh, ribs out of the way. I hate that we call it ribs. All right, and which way this one's going to go just like so. Yeah, it's going to connect up right there. I see. Okay, cool. I'm getting, I'm kind of, I'm picking up what they're throwing down here. Yep, just want to make sure that everything is lining up properly. And we're probably going to be connecting along the outside there. With those pieces, okay. Although, I will say... Is there a bit of a bend to this? Yes, I almost installed that in backwards, and I'm glad I was like, ah, there's a bit of a bit of a bend to it. So let's go ahead and take it and just connect it to the four hole flange, it says. Okay. So just the four hole flange. Right, right here. Okay, so now, that is the first kind of part of our assembly. So now, let's go ahead. We're going to take an inner radial rib, and that's going to be one of the ones that, it's going to be this one, and it does not have a two on the top or the bottom. And what we're going to do is we're going to install it. They have holes along the side here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it right here so that it lines up with our piece, just like so, okay? And then this piece is going to fit over the top of that. And then we're gonna go ahead and take four of our brass screws and attach them in there. So the brass screws are for attaching the uh, radial, the radial uh, rib pieces together. So let us set that here and we're going to take a screw and first before we connect up the center piece is we're going to connect up both ends of 10 and 14 here. Oh my. I did grab myself a couple of extras just in case. And most of these screws are actually from the extras that we've received over time. Very nice. Oop. Grab the screw. Okay, this is going to get it pretty quickly, actually. I'm pretty pleased. Oh, my goodness. I say as I can't grab the screw off the uh, desk. <laughs> Uh, man, we 
these screws are going to be the death of me. I am going to magnetize this. Wow, that actually worked. Holy crap. Science, y'all. Maybe. <laughs> I say that. Maybe that worked. I don't know. Um, I'm just super excited that this is all here. Like, I'm tired. It's been a long day at work. And uh, I'm just, like, super excited to, like, actually be building this tonight. And I'm going to release this as a special episode tomorrow. Normally the Falcon will be on Fridays going forward, but uh, we're going to drop an episode to, uh, for me tomorrow, but for you guys, you know, obviously today here on Saturday. So, yeah. Now, let's go ahead and start by getting our screw. Go ahead and pop that in there. We're going to start with one brass screw and go ahead and... Uh, actually, you know, I hate to say it, but that actually like legit worked. <laughs> Science, y'all. It's an amazing thing. Not quite as strong as I'd like it to be, so let's see if I can I may have to use one of these other screwdrivers here real quick. I got it, man. Yeah, we're going to do one of these. There we are. Yeah, I'm just excited for it to all be here. Like, finally. Been waiting and waiting and waiting. But it is nice getting it shipped through USPS. It was right sitting at my front door. I didn't have to worry about FedEx leaving outside in the rain. Um, it is currently right now 16 degrees in the Seattle area, which never happens. And um, I'm very pleased that it wasn't sitting like just out for everyone to see. I'm like, oh my goodness, that'd be awful. So then I don't want this model exposed to too much cold. And so it's just really nice to have the postal service actually delivering the package. Sorry if I'm covering up the model here, I'm trying to screw this in in a very tight space yeah I'm just glad that the model's here I just both of them like I've not had both of them show up at the same time like it was a bit like Christmas morning doing the unpackaging video you know like I did both of them at the same time basically and I've never been able to do that and it's like super cool and so yeah it's exciting like there's gonna be enough content you know for me to get you know an episode out every single week of both ships and i'll be able to get you know four episodes out of each one maybe five and for me that's exciting like i need to be able to have the content to keep putting out and you know i want it to be this stuff i want it to be these models and uh you know substitutes work but you know I want it to be these models. I'm spending a lot of money on it, and yeah, I just want it to be these models. The screws. There we go. Yeah, I just want it to be these ones. <laughs> so I want my expensive toys. So, and I saw that uh, I have the USPS, the Postal Service, uh, the informed delivery or whatever it is and so they took a picture of the package this morning before it was delivered and so I knew it was coming and uh, I go to work really early in the morning and uh, I've been like giddy all day just waiting for it to show up and then I got the confirmation that it arrived and found every excuse I could to get off work early so <laughs> I was able to leave about a half hour early and Spend some time with a girl and do some things, and now time to build a model before I got to get up early tomorrow. And we're gonna be building this weekend. Got to. Now that we've seen the first episode of the Enterprise C, I'm gonna. I'm only going to move on with to the next stage of the model, and when when we uh, shoot an episode or release an episode, and so we're shooting that, and then we're gonna be shooting the uh, Marauder finale, which is gonna be super cool, and. We're coming up towards the end of the NX-01 as well, so we've got another ship going to be replacing that bad boy here soon. Okay, 
So there we go. Those pieces are nice and put in place. Let's go ahead and grab, we're going to grab frame 12, which is going to be this bad boy. And it is going to go into place just like this. And do we need to do another? Because I know I have another one of those. Yes, I do. So I'll be right back. So I do have another one of these. Well, thankfully, you know, like, I mean, they provide you with plenty of extras of all the things that we need. And so let's go ahead and pop all that out. But I can tell you, I've given myself exactly zero time to edit this and get it out tomorrow. So Jordan's going to be a tired boy before his weekend. <laughs> but I love it. This is like, I can't wait. Like sometimes I just, I can't wait. <laughs> I just can't wait. Could have waited, but not happening. Not today, sir. Not today. I'm actually really pleased at how well this has gone together. Feeling a little more confident with using the frame pieces. They are definitely feeling much more high quality. So I think we should be good going forward. Just hope Fan Home will get me my replacement for stage four so I can get that fixed. All right. Stage four, and this is stage, what? 15? Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's been, it's been an adventure doing all this so far. This is so cool. I'm so, so super stoked right now. I'm just, like just giddy. It was like Christmas morning opening both of those. And the Enterprise is going to be a fascinating build this month. We're finally going to be doing stuff with uh, creating a bunch of the whole section pieces. So, ah, just, yes, yes. <laughs> Okay, so we are going to grab our final hull plate section here, our final frame section here. Scoot this bad boy up. Make sure we're facing in the correct way. We are. Let's go ahead and grab our screw. Nice, that one actually just set right in the spot. And I do like the fact that there's built-in uh, pieces here. Like it was, I was connecting one of these pieces when I broke the uh, previous frame piece, and so huh, yeah, I do appreciate the fact that they're in there. Okay, so now I believe that's actually that piece there and that piece there. All right, where we're we gonna go next? Okay, so it is saying that it is easier to join. All right, so we moved on. So our final piece is installed there. So they're saying that it's easier to join our pieces here um, before installing them. So what we're going to do is we're going to line them up, slide our frame just up a little bit, just like so. Then we're gonna take our bridge piece and I'm gonna connect up on one side because I imagine that trying to do this just both trying to connect both at the same time I can imagine that would just be a freaking nightmare so Also, I think I'm going to punish myself and shoot an episode of the Enterprise tonight just because I'm super excited about having all the things. But it is getting late, so probably not. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, you know me. By now, you guys kind of know that I'll, I'll punish myself a little bit. And so, I'm just super giddy. So, this one's having a tough one getting in. For whatever reason. There we go. So I'm just going to connect one and then I'm going to connect up the piece here. Just make sure that I'm not like too rigid. And then I'm going to connect up the, so when we put it in, this one goes here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this one up next.
Nice. <laughs> that was smooth. There we go. Very nice. Okay. So now, there's a natural curve here that I see to the frame. As you can see, there's a curve to it. So I want to make sure I'm respecting that curve. And then we're going to connect up into our other screws. Oop. Not quite magnetized enough. I will spend some time like fully magnetizing this. I don't know how long that holds for, but it's pretty cool that that works. And our final screw, final, final copper screw for the week. And we'll be having these episodes come out on Friday. I'll mention it again at the end of the episode, but uh, the Falcon's going to be moving to Fridays during the week. The Enterprise will move to Tuesdays. So we'll go Enterprise, Enterprise for our release schedule. Just shuffling some things up couple months into releasing all these videos now I have a clearer picture of when people are watching things and so I'm just kind of shuffling up the uh, lineup a little bit to make a little bit more sense for you all the analytics are pretty cool like I, uh, I love studying numbers and like it's this is pretty cool we've been getting a lot of followers lately a lot of subscribers and I just thank you thank you this has been an amazing journey so far and uh, I'm really been humbled by uh, the uh, the support so far that the channel's gotten. So thank you, thank you. Getting all emotional and stuff. Eh. So that is nice and put in place. And then what we're going to do is it looks like we are just connecting all the way from the top down. So yep. So we're not going to go though on the bottom, we go on the top. I'm going to start at an easier place than where it wants me to. I'm going to start at one of these quads here because I want to flatten out the piece before we connect the top. I'm just going to do one here. I'm going to go. Goodness me. Need this to be better. And I may look at uh, getting some miniature. Uh... You know what? That's a great idea. I didn't even think about that. I'm going to pick up some miniature uh, magnetized screwdrivers here for this model. I know it's a great idea. I think that's a good idea. I do. Our screw here. Uh, And also have to say, if I actually can't believe I get to say this, but for those of you that are new here, this is the core of the channel here, besides the podcast. Like, building the fan home models is definitely a core of what we do, and this is what's got us up and moving again. So, I hope you all enjoy it. I know we're just looking at a metal piece and all that, but it's super fascinating to me that I was able to build frame sections without busting anything. Which is quite nice, and looks like we only have two screws left this week, my friends. So yeah, if you're new here, welcome. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the community. Got some cool stuff coming up. Got some cool stuff going on. And for those of you that have been around for a little while, <laughs> the Falcon's back, baby. And uh, we're going to have, I think we should be good to go going forward. I said that last month, and I was able to... Keep it rolling for a minute, but the holidays happen, you know, the holidays, the holidays. So everything slows down. So, but I think we should be good to go going forward for both models. So, 
as I have fixed my last screw. Just want to say thank you so much for watching today. I know you guys all had a million things you could have done today, and instead you spent a couple minutes watching me build a model, which is pretty cool. Definitely appreciate that. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, tips, tricks, please leave them down below. If you'd like to support the channel, please like and subscribe. Oh, and my friends, until we see each other again, I hope you all have a wonderful day in this beautiful world, wherever you happen to be. And remember, the Force will be with you, always.